What's up guys, this is the Landmines, one of the most functional piece of equipment in the gym, especially for golfers. You can work your lower body, core, upper body, rotation, so many cool things you can do in your golf specific workout. So just a few examples, you can grab it here. We can go from side to side, hip to hip, good rotation, lower body stability, strength, rotation. We can go into a split stance, we can do something like this, upper body power, strength, rotation, take it down to the ground. Great way to do some Romanian deadlifts with a little added bounce support with the landmine. But the problem is a lot of you guys don't have one of these setups at home. So I'm gonna show you a really easy way that you can make this work if you have a barbell anywhere that you have a corner in a room. So pull it out of there, walk it over and we'll find a corner here in this gym. So one thing, I think you should always be very considerate when you're using someone else's space, that if you're gonna shove their barbell into a corner, you could either damage the wall or you could damage their barbell. So I grabbed my shoe, probably wanna get like an old shoe, I actually like this shoe, but you know, for this video, I'm gonna make a little sacrifice. So I'm just gonna shove that in the corner and I'm actually gonna stick the barbell in the shoe so that way I don't damage the bar or the wall. And I can still do every movement that I want with that. So just shove it in there, fits nice. And again, I can do everything that I was just gonna do over there, add weight to it. One of my new favorite exercises is a curtsy lunge. Looks like this, it's pretty awesome. Another option for you is that you could pick up one of these things on Amazon that will just create the landmine for you. But you know, if you're at home, if you're at a gym and they don't have one, or you don't wanna pick one up, just use the shoe in the corner of the room and uh, save the wall and you can use landmine anywhere. It's a great tool um, to use for your golf specific workouts. I use it in my programs all the time. All right guys, so this is going to be the staggered stance barbell deadlift. Why we do this is so we can individually load into our hips, all right? So as a golfer, we need to be able to load in both sides. If you ever get on like a swing catalyst or something that's checking your pressure on the ground, you'll feel that you push into one side and then we finish and we press into the other and we get into each hip. So this will help with hip strength and hip mobility and then just explosive power with our hip drive. So when we get into a staggered stance, you always wanna to try to get right in the middle of the bar. So I basically just stand like I would do my normal deadlift and I just step one foot back. I like to bring my heel up and kind of have my toes on the ground. You can not do that if you want, but I think it's more comfortable. We can do this with dumbbells, kettlebells, a trap bar, but I'm gonna show the most uh, challenging version and the most um, available tool in the gym, just the straight bar. So from here, I wanna hinge back. I'm just doing, if I was from this view, it would literally just be a deadlift. Right here, if it's both feet, it's the same, I just have one foot back. All right, so. Already go ahead and have your shin really close to the bar, hinge down, and don't roast me, these are lightweights, I'm just showing so I can talk through this, all right? I can do more than this. But anyways, so we're hinging back, I feel that load in my hip and in my glute already, all right? My core is tight, back's flat, arms straight down, grab the bar, remember always take the slack out of the bar in a deadlift, especially when it gets heavy. So I take that slack out, load, stand straight up, hinge back. Start the movement here from your hip. Don't ever pull the bar like that, but use the motion from your hip, hinge down. Remember, we wanna have the bar. Bar path in a deadlift should be straight down, straight back up. Hinge back, get really deep. I think with one side at a time, you can really focus on more hip depth that we definitely need in our swing. All right, so hinge, get deep into that hip, drive. finish at the top, all right? So that's really good for that hip depth, glute strength, power, all those things that we need in our swing we can do with that staggered stance deadlift. A great move for golfers and um, something you're gonna see in the program coming soon. So thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day.